In 2009, Matt Smith and his coworkers proposed a life-changing idea. I remember really not knowing if this thing was gonna work. They had just launched an ambitious venture for PepsiCo called Food for Good to make nutritious food accessible in low-income communities. That summer, they set up their first mobile meal truck in a South Dallas park. You know, it was 100 plus degrees and no kids were coming. We picked this park because it was surrounded by five apartment complexes. It thought, looked on a map like the perfect spot. Started to see a, an 11 year old holding hands with a nine year old, holding hands with a five year old. Their mom had told them, we'd really prefer for you to not leave the gates of the apartment complex. Once we listened to those kids and went inside the gates of one of those apartment complexes, we had 150 kids come. The story of Food for Good is one of listening. Listening to the people who understand the needs of their communities the most. 22 million kids across the U.S. depend on free or reduced price lunch at school. There's no system to reach 22 million kids when they're at home. We know how to move food into every corner of the country, every corner of the world. How could we use that kind of capability to get nutritious meals to kids who can't access them? As director of the program, Matt helped create an ecosystem around Food for Good, an ever-expanding network of warehouses and delivery routes. Over a decade after setting up in that park, Food for Good has delivered 45 million meals to students around the U.S. What started as an after-school and summer program has expanded to provide help in even the most trying times. During COVID-19, if we can't get a truck to every one of these kids, how could we pack meals and ship those to kids via UPS? In partnership with USDA and Baylor, we were able to ship six and a half million meals this summer directly to their doorstep, boxes full of two weeks worth of meals. Proving the business can be done this way is one of those things that matters most to me about this work. And there's so much more to do. This is real. This is not just statistics and it's not just some theoretical issue. And if our systems are not meeting that basic need, we got some work to do. And I think companies like PepsiCo are in a place where we can really do an incredible amount of good.